directed launch aditya album after the success of chandrayaan 3 yeah. so what would be the major role of this uh, aditya album yeah this after the chandrayaan one itself uh, 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 this mission uh, we thought of reconfiguring originally when we talk about as a follow on to the astrosat mission uh, which was basically for astronomical multiwave lung satellite uh, there is a follow on to that to look to study basically for the uh, sun and uh, the some of the unanswered questions point of view originally was planned a lower mission after the success of chandrayaan i think it has been reconfigured as an aditya l1 that means uh, original objective remains uh, same an added objective of uh, Uh, looking at the space weather and trying to forewarn the our operational satellites point of view i think this mission was repositioned to the l1 and uh, it's really really technically it's a very very challenging to acquire the l1 point and have an orbit around that and uh, over and over that to, to the uh, able to survive for the 5 years with a very very uh, accurate pointing requirements this mission is concerned and uh, that way i think today we had has really seven science instruments uh with that uh, these will having a one is uh, technically very very challenging to acquire the orbit and scientifically going to be rewarding because seven instruments will try to understand you more data to understand more about the dynamics and phenomena what's happening in the moon and again uh, operationally it will be very purposeful because for example india itself has having more than 55 satellites worth more than 60000 crores of worth so their operational side were not hard inter- uninterrupted i think Uh, this uh, message whatever coming from the solar activities will help to keep the satellites very safe and secure point of view so that way i think it is a multi purpose a challenging and uh, yeah, yes i think it's a beyond chandrayaan and mangalyaan and this also has its own uh, purpose uh, to science as well as for the operational missions point of view so there is a little bit confusion people are thinking that the uh, uh, this uh, aditya l1 is going to place on the sun like a uh, moon so can you to elaborate how different is this from chandrayaan 3 because it's play, it's going to be yeah. on lagrangian l1 yeah, point yeah, yeah. so like orbit near to sun right correct now. yeah this is unlike uh, other satellites which basically it goes around the mother planet be it air the be it the moon or be it a mars like that but this mission is not exactly like that but this is the mission wherein the gravity of the both sun and uh, the earth being coming very close balanced balanced around that point uh, something called the l1 lagrangian point there are five such points but this particular point which is nearly uh, 150 uh, uh, 15 million kilo, 1.5 million kilometers away from the uh, earth 50 lakhs kilometers away from the earth and uh, cut the uh, earth always one side of the satellite will look at always uh, Uh, sun so that gives an uninterrupted observation of the opportunity uh, not even really going towards uh, not very near to the sun but it's uh, but it's it's good enough to have at least a warning of uh, nearly 3 to 4 days in advance what's coming uh, towards the system is concerned one final, yeah. yeah one final question what's your message to the isro yeah i think message is basically i think isro is now it's coming with the bank Uh, after the covid there was uh, it was coming up very nicely but uh, just covid has made us some a small setback and chandrayaan 2 also got a setback but now i think it is coming as a bank with uh, chandrayaan 3 uh, already in a place and doing well now aditya is coming and i, I think i am expecting another uh, the satellite very very ambitious satellite called uh, nasa isro synthetic aperture radar nisar Uh, that is basically to look at the global warning other things are very very minute details uh, that we can provide enough data and beyond that in any of operational missions for communication navigation satellite going on commercially also i think it's venturing there that way i think it's an all round effort it enthuses the people to come in a big way so that way i think this row is uh, now is coming with a big bang ஒரு நாள் பத்து தலைப்புகள் நூறு செய்திகள் இன்றைய செய்திகளில் அசத்தலான ஒரு மணி நேர தொகுப்பு செய்திகள் நூறு நாள் தோறும் காலை ஆறு பத்து மணிக்கு மற்றும் இரவு ஒன்பது மணிக்கு நமது நியூஸ் தமிழ் தொலைக்காட்சியில் காணத்தவராதீர்கள்